From a distance, cargo ships appear as mere dots on the horizon. But up close, these massive vessels are like towering skyscrapers lying on their sides, gliding gracefully across the ocean's surface. Their size is not just a feat of engineering, but also crucial for global commerce, as they carry the goods that power economies worldwide. Container ships, in particular, are designed specifically for transporting goods across oceans in standardized containers. These ships are the backbone of global trade, transporting everything from cars to electronics to everyday household items. But what makes these behemoths so special? And how are they built to withstand the demands of the world's busiest shipping routes? Let's dive into the fascinating world of container ships. History of container ships. Container ships weren't always the giants of the sea. In fact, they were first introduced relatively recently in 1956, when the Ideal X, a converted oil tanker, made its maiden voyage from Newark, New Jersey to Houston, Texas. This journey marked the beginning of a revolution in shipping. Before this, cargo had to be loaded and unloaded by hand, a slow and labor-intensive process. The use of standardized containers, which could be quickly loaded, stacked and unloaded, changed the game forever. These containers could fit seamlessly on trucks, trains and ships, allowing for a more streamlined global supply chain. Over time, container ships evolved from modest vessels to the gargantuan vessels we see today, capable of carrying over 20,000 containers on a single voyage. Construction and Design the construction of these massive ships starts with a basic concept, creating a vessel that can carry as many containers as possible, efficiently and safely, across the globe. Typically built from steel, container ships come in various sizes. On the smaller end are feeder vessels, which can carry just a few hundred containers. These ships are often used for regional routes, delivering goods to ports that can't accommodate the largest vessels. On the other end of the spectrum are ultra-large container vessels, ULCVs, some of which can carry upwards of 24,000 containers. The shipbuilding process itself is a complex feat of engineering. It involves multiple stages from the design phase, where engineers carefully plan out every detail, to the final assembly. The steel plates used to construct the hull, decks and superstructure are cut and welded together with incredible precision. The goal is to create a ship that is strong enough to withstand the harsh conditions of the open ocean while being light enough to maintain speed and efficiency. Building process. Constructing a container ship takes months, sometimes years, depending on its size and complexity. The building process usually begins with the cutting of enormous steel plates. These plates form the skeleton of the ship, which is gradually assembled in sections. Shipyards often build different parts of the ship simultaneously in separate locations and then assemble them together. Once the basic framework is in place, other critical components like the engine, navigation equipment and various support systems are installed. The complexity of these components varies depending on the ship's intended function. For instance, ships designed to navigate icy waters may need extra reinforcements and special ice-breaking capabilities. Engines and power. The engines of container ships are nothing short of marvels of engineering. Take, for example, the MSC Tessa, currently the third largest container ship in the world. This ship uses a low-speed diesel engine that generates an astonishing 98,000 horsepower. Engines like these are designed not only for power, but also for efficiency, enabling the ship to move massive cargo loads across vast distances without consuming an excessive amount of fuel. The assembly of these engines is an intricate process. It begins with the construction of the engine block, which is made from several large precision machine parts that are assembled into one unit. Next, the pistons are installed. These pistons connect to the crankshaft, and as they move up and down, they generate the power needed to propel the ship forward. The engine's fuel and lubrication systems are equally important, as is the turbocharger system, which compresses the air entering the engine to improve efficiency. Once the engine is assembled, it undergoes rigorous testing to ensure it meets safety and performance standards. Engineers test everything from fuel efficiency to emissions and reliability. After any necessary adjustments, the engine is installed in the ship's engine room. Cost and complexity. 
container ships are among the most expensive vessels to build, with prices ranging from tens of millions to hundreds of millions of dollars. The cost depends largely on the ship's size, engine type, and additional features like fuel efficiency systems or ice-breaking capabilities. The materials used, such as high-grade steel, also add to the overall expense. The complexity of these ships is apparent in every aspect, from their engines to the navigation systems that allow them to traverse the world's oceans safely and efficiently. Engineers and technicians must monitor the ship's systems constantly to ensure that everything functions smoothly. A failure in any of these systems could be catastrophic. Inside the engine room, a visit to a container ship's engine room is an unforgettable experience. The first thing visitors notice is the sheer size of the engines. These machines dominate the space, with enormous pistons, turbochargers, and fuel lines crisscrossing in every direction. The engine room is a noisy, hot environment. The constant rumbling of the engines is punctuated by the occasional blast of compressed air, and the temperature often exceeds 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Despite the chaos, the engine room is a highly controlled environment. Engineers and technicians move efficiently, constantly checking gauges and screens to ensure the engine runs smoothly. Every detail is meticulously monitored, as even a small problem could lead to significant delays, or worse, a complete breakdown. Ship incidents and repairs. A malfunction in the engine room can have serious consequences. For instance, on August 18th, 2020, the US Coast Guard cutter Healy suffered a fire in its main propulsion motor while on a deployment to the Arctic. Fires in the engine room are particularly dangerous because they can cripple the ship's ability to move. Fortunately, the crew managed to extinguish the flames and the Healy was towed to California for repairs. A spare propulsion motor had to be shipped across the country and installed, a process that took about a month. Propulsion units and external replacement. Another critical component of any container ship is its propulsion unit. Propellers, water jets and pod drives are the most common forms of propulsion, working together to generate the forward thrust needed to move the ship. Replacing these propulsion units doesn't always require the ship to be dry docked. In many cases, external replacement can be done while the ship is still in the water. This complex process requires specialized equipment and technicians, but allows the ship to remain in service, reducing downtime and keeping revenue flowing. Eco-friendly shipping technologies. As concerns about climate change grow, the shipping industry is under increasing pressure to find more environmentally friendly ways of operating. One promising solution is the use of liquefied natural gas, LNG, as a fuel source. LNG burns cleaner than traditional marine fuels like heavy fuel oil or diesel, producing fewer greenhouse gases and pollutants. CMA CGM, one of the world's largest container shipping companies, has led the charge in adopting LNG-powered ships. In 2017, the company introduced the CMA CGM Jacques Sade, the world's first LNG-powered container ship. With a capacity of 23,000 20-foot equivalent units, TEUs, this ship is a testament to the future of eco-friendly shipping. The world of container shipping is one of immense scale and complexity, from their powerful engines to the cutting-edge technologies making them more environmentally friendly Container ships are a testament to human ingenuity. As the industry continues to evolve, we can expect to see even more advancements, including hybrid electric systems, wind-assisted propulsion, and fuel cells, all working to reduce the environmental impact of global trade. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about these incredible ships. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of our future content. See you next time.